Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and welcome to this video tutorial series on database programming with Python. We have come a long way. In this video, we will see how we will how we can use bind variables in select statements. So I'll jump on to the Visual Studio code and we can start with some programming. So over here, we'll take an example that we worked with earlier and that is with the fetch all method. I'll take this code as is and we'll make the changes wherever necessary to understand how we can use bind variables with select statement. So I'll call it bind variable example dot pi and save it and here is the code. So what we'll do is we'll import CX Oracle, the required package or the module. We'll try and create a connection if the connection is successful in the else block. We will have one more try catch block and in this we can see that we have a cursor created. Then we have a select statement which basically says select star from CO details and then we use the execute method to execute the statement and then we use the fetch all method to get all the data that has been retrieved by the select statement and then we are just printing this data. So let us clear of the data that we don't need. And here, what we want to do is, we want to go with some bind variables. So say suppose, select stuff from CO details table, where I want all those record where age of the CO is less than equal to 50. Now if I write it this way, it works well for this example because it has a static value given of 50. I want all the records where the age is less than 50. What if your code is dynamic? What if you don't exact, exactly know at the time of run or of what you want to pass over there? So suppose all of this is inside a function and then you can just pass on the function input. Say this is all inside a def then you can just pass on the function input over here and create your SQL statement now this is a very basic requirement of of always having some input to your select statement so every time if you keep on binding if you keep on just creating your SQL statement at a time if the SQL statement is quite complicated all the concatenation of the literal values and the syntax and all will get very confusing in that case what Python provides is the use of bind variables. You can actually give something like a variable over here, a bind variable symbolized by the, the colon in the front. So you can give any name over here. And then when actually you are executing the statement, you can have a dictionary which has the name over here as the key and the value as the value that you want to replace during the runtime as the value of the dictionary. So during runtime, the statement will become something like select star from CO details where age is less than equal to 50. This age will get replaced by the value that is provided in the dictionary. So now if you run this, I'll just print the record that we get here. I'll just print the records here. So now basically what would happen is it will run the select statement at runtime. It will see that there is a bind variable called age and then it will run for, uh, then it will go to the next step and look for a value for that bind variable. And that is what you'll get here. And hence it will get you the output. So let's say Sundar Pichai, Google 47, Mark Zuckerberg, both of them have age less than 50 and both of the data have written, have been returned here. Say suppose you have more conditions to put. I have one more column called as company and I'll put that and, and company, let's say we just want to return one record and instead of giving a literal here, I'll just say colon comp and in the dictionary, we'll have 
another key called as comp and the value for that would be say let's take google so you can see that if you have a very long or very huge query you don't need to always concatenate it with variables here and there and run it so if say this bind variables are not here you would actually be closing and putting some variables here you will have eight somewhere here defined and then you will create this query you can see that it would be very messy as as and when the query gets complicated but this is a very clean way of passing the data to your queries and then binding them to the value at runtime so if i run this i should get just one record there is sundar buchai google 47 so when you run this it gives you just that one record so this is how you can bind variables to your sql statements at runtime i hope this is helpful please do let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe this is kishan signing off bye bye